it's that silence when the chopper goes. Once that chopper's gone and it gets quiet, you feel very, very alone. Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Now this one is gonna be the first of a few parts because we are in a pretty special place. We just flew in with Karamir Heli Charters and they've dropped us into this pretty cool place. And we're in here for six days. Me, there's the bro JP getting ready. So here's the plan. We've got a bit of a walk now. We've got a crossing to do, a big crossing, then to get to our chosen river. Then once we're in there, we've got six days to push up, hopefully find some fish, have a bit of an adventure. And uh, yeah, just explore somewhere that doesn't get seen much because it's just such a mission to get into. This is the main river here. As you can see, it's big, it's colored, it's up because uh, obviously they've had a lot of rain here recently. Once we get up into the tributary, this shouldn't be an issue. And over the week, this should drop and clear. Forecast is for good weather, no more rain. So we took a punt and here we are. Big packs, stupidly heavy, like really heavy. Uh, but there's a lot of food in there. There's camping gear, we've got fishing gear. Uh, it's gonna suck for the first couple of days until we start to eat away through some of that weight, but it's all good. We get it on the big jobs and this should be worth it. We're gonna put these on now. We've got about two kilometers maybe to walk to get to our crossing point to then get over and, and get into the tributary. So that's our first port of call. It's not a nice walk. There's no tracks in here. Uh, it's, just, it's just tiger country and wilderness, which is what we're here for. So let's go. Let's get on it. Let's go for a Let's walk. 9.46, a quarter to 10. Like, by that big boulder over there, we might be able to come around and shift you up into, those, into that native. There was a big slip I saw from the helicopter, uh, which might get in our way. Oh, it's, it's all wet. <laughs> That's what she said. A little bit of a divot there, mate. Watch your ankles. I'll give you 20 New Zealand dollars if you walk it like a tightrope. <laughs> It'll be sweet, but just take a little bit of picking through. I'm actually not stood on anything solid right now. Oh, that was unpleasant. Didn't like that. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Come this way. I'll move this out of the way for you. Oh, this is a good time. It was, uh, it was unexpected. You could see the slip from the, well, the start of the slip from the chopper, but then it just went on and on and on and on. And uh, I soaked up a bit of time and a bit of energy there. Like there was a lot of roots and kind of just big holes you could easily just drop your leg into and snap it. So it's just a case of going slow and just steady and just taking your time and talking about it, just picking your way through. Anyway, two sips, no more than two sips. Two sips, two sips. that's a lot. It's you give that third sip back, <laughs> spit it out. Spit it. <laughs> two sips of water, carry on. It was two. Shut up, man, it was two. <laughs> okay, nearly there. Last bit of last bit of bush to get through. <clears throat> then we're at the confluence. Then we've got to work out how to get across. The gear across, us across, in the kayaks, without losing all our gear falling in and or drowning. It's definitely higher and faster and a bit more sketchy than I'd really like, but it's what we're dealing with, so even if, uh, I don't know, we'll work it out. Oh, woo, that feels good. Oh yeah, 
What time it is? Oh, what? What's the time? 20 past 11. Okay, we're here. We're finally at the confluence. We need to get across there into that river and then that's us for the next few days. That was actually a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. But that big slip or that big windfall, all those trees down there, that slowed us down. It made things real tough. But anyway, we're here. It's all good. How's that jerky, bro? It's beautiful. It's pretty good. That's the bootleg jerky. It's really good stuff. Okay, so we're going to have a snack, drink. We've got to locate the kayak. Then we've got to get ourselves across the river. Our gear across the river. That's our plan. All right. Oh, those, uh, those sand flies are Ooh. hammering me, hammering me, son. Okay, so that should go, that should be all right. Luggage kayak, got some paracord between the two. I'm gonna go across in that one, tow that one behind me dump the gear, come back, JP, do the same, and come back, and then uh, we'll both go across. Uh oh. It was not smooth at all. Whew. Okay. I suck at that. Go up a little bit further than I did before you yeah. go across. You okay? Yeah. Good man. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> well, you're not getting the kayak in middle. <laughs> uh, okay, so that got sketchy real quick. Just as you got to the other side, it just kind of caught a bit of fast water, overcompensated tipped over yeah they got bad real quick as it can do but he did the right thing he didn't panic he just chill hung on to the kayak and then just by the very nature of the current you could see and he, he knew as well you could see that he was gonna get pushed back over to my side he got pushed back towards me and then um, managed to go out and uh, and grab him as well and then he did a really good thing just went straight back in there went over there and did it much better but just goes to show, you know, it's all good fun, but, you know, out here, just things can go very wrong very quickly. So, anyway, it all worked out well. Anyway, he's going to bring the kayaks back over here, we'll take the paracord off, and then we'll just both saunter across casually. But right, this is where we're going to camp, up in the back here. Hello. How cool is this? Boom town. Is that, I reckon. Okay, cool. This is camp area number one, numero uno. It's only half past 12, so we're gonna just chill out, uh, have some lunch, uh, dump the camp gear, and then what we got, we've probably got, well, we'll got the afternoon to fish up there for a few pieces of water, so. It's good, the sun's out, sun's out, gun's out. Yeah, we're just having a snack and then we will 
Maybe put some fishing rods together, maybe. Try to find a fish. That's, uh, that's the plan. It's actually going a bit cold, a bit windy, a bit cloudy. Uh, it just feels like the temperature's dropping a little bit. So I don't know whether it's going to be nice this afternoon, but it was supposed to be, what, today, tomorrow, a bit meh. And then yeah. getting better for the rest it's of the week, eh? Camp's ready, so when we finish fishing, we just come back and uh, we are definitely having a whiskey and a cigar tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, go find a fish! There's so much water coming down here. <laughs> Good. Yep. Yeah, that's a nice pressure wave there. Okay, so we just uh, scissor paper rocked for the first shot at a fish. Scissor paper rock. Oh! <laughs> ah! Oh, okay. Scissor paper rock. Ah! Scissor paper rock. Ah! Woo! I never win! <laughs> and um, for a change I actually won. So I'm going to just run you through real quick what I'm using. I'm going to run the blackout. Five weight blackout rod from Orbis. Nine and a half foot. A bit of a weapon to be honest. Oh man, as soon as that sun goes in, it's real cold. Mirage LT, burnt orange reel. Uh, on here I've got a Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Smooth 5 weight line. And on the top of that I've got a 7 foot floating poly leader to a tippet ring. And then we shall build our leaders off of that, as usual for summer type fishing. Don't know what's going to happen over the next couple of days. Uh, the size of the river is kind of a bit worrying as to whether or not we can actually do some of the crossings further up to get to where we really want to go. But the only way to find that out is to get on up there tomorrow and have a go. Alright, so there's my poly leader down to a tippet ring and off of this I've got 5 feet of 3x and we'll add some 4x to that, eh? Maybe like an arm length, 3 feet, 3 and a half feet. Ooh, I reckon dry dropper. Let's see if that works. We'll go a size 14 kind of parachute jobby, high vis from uh, Stu's Superior Flies, Crusher Barbs, and then we'll go 4x off of that to something small and nymphy, probably a size 16 I'd say. Gonna go about an arm's length, three and a half feet I reckon. Flashback pheasant tail you say? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. Ah, now it's starting to rain, brilliant. Alright, after all that, let's see if we can catch this fish. Okay, in position. I don't know, looking at him, if I'm actually going to be deep enough or heavy enough. We'll give it a go. Man, he is dirty. I'm gonna go deeper. Okay, the stonefly, that same pheasant tail I had on, and a tiny indicator. Coming over. Got him! Yep! That was worth doing. Come on, bro. Come this way. Almost. Come on. On the board with a great fish. Came over, um, ate it just like they should. Anyway, stoked. Really cool fish. Had some cool kind of like black markings on his on this jaw, uh, but gave him heaps of character. It was great. Super strong fish. Like I, I was leaning on that fish the whole time. I wouldn't let up, and he just, he just wouldn't budge. Anyway, check this out. 
If we looked in another piece of water, we've moved up, we've got this massive pool here. Uh, and we've seen a fish at the back here, really deep down, really hard to see, but I can still see him now. It's deep on the bottom, swinging around, eating stuff. So JP is just changing over to something heavy, and we'll try and get opposite him. Stick a fly, drift it onto him, hopefully he'll eat. I think he will. If he gets a good presentation, I think he's in with a chance of this. Coming under. That's a great fish. Nice. That was quality, quality fish. About, about five pound and just brute solidness. We swapped over, went built a straight through nymphing leader, kind of North Island styles, indicator, real deep, heavy flies, and then just started to work. Uh, JP just started to work his way up this kind of foam line. And uh, I, I'm gonna grab his rod now and just work my way up the rest of this run because it's just so beautiful. And we've got like one more piece of water around the corner to fish, and that's about all we're gonna do today. But yeah, if we can find a couple more of those, stoked. an indicator off just to practice this way of fishing this is good I can't see are you it's going over his head I'll go heavier okay I just went a little bit heavier He chased that a long way. I actually thought I'd miss him. I was just drawing as uh, as I saw him move and then chase downstream. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'll try and get him down in here. Sweet man, that was cool.
see the two big rocks? Oh yeah, just swung so, out. Big fish. Well, yeah. well, it looks big from here. Okay, so we just crossed over and there's a fish round about here somewhere. I'm gonna keep that same rig on and see, see what happens. This should work. Yep. So that mouth go away. Yo, okay, we're back at camp, obviously. Everything is hanging up to dry. Looking good. And tents are up from earlier. Just making up a coffee. And then what we're probably gonna do is then just eat some food, chill out for a bit, smoke a cigar, drink some whiskey. And that's about it. Really, really cool, cool day. It was a really good first day, actually. All good fish, but those two of JP's were just spectacular, so like, He's stoked and should be. Now, tomorrow, the plan is to hike way upstream to get into the good water. My only worry is that with the extra water in here, I don't know whether or not we're gonna be able to even get up there. Like some of those crossings are just are not doable. Um, so if we can't go up and around, um, we're not gonna be able to get up to where we need to get to. But we'll see you tomorrow. We'll find out. Great to see you guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned, see what happens next week. See if we get up to where we want to get to. See if we find some fish. I don't even know what's gonna happen. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. Have a great week. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.